Atari used to be known as video game royalty and is the driving force for the formation of the video arcade and modern video game industry. It's responsible for video games like Pong, Breakout, Asteroids and Millipede among dozens of others and the Atari 2600, 5200 and the Atari video game computer system are some of the most iconic and most successful video game consoles in history. Recently, Atari has been nothing but a hollow shell of its former self, not really responsible for any new content worth checking out, releasing the odd remaster and compilation collection, and while unspectacular, Atari has remained relatively harmless, but recently have morphed into a predatory charlatan, looking to do little more than scam gamers out of their hard-earned money. Today, I'm going to raise awareness for their two latest huge scams and ensure that you don't fall for them. Welcome back to Switchcraft, and before we go any further, I ask you to consider subscribing and hitting that bell down below so that you can get notified whenever I come out with the latest content. Now that that's out of the way, I want to draw your attention to the first of Atari's two latest scams, Roller Coaster Tycoon on the Nintendo Switch. Now, this is one of the craziest things I've seen on the World Wide Web. Atari has foregone the entire Kickstarter approach to making a new game, which is sketchy enough coming from a supposedly established company, and instead they're looking for investors. They pitch this as an equity in the company on a website called StartEngine.com, and they have already raised over $47,000. Now what the hell does that $47,000 get you? Well, first of all, the minimum investment is $250. And you have the ability to make up to 120% of your investment back up until 18 months after launch, depending on the success of sales of this game. Assuming the game actually gets made. But wait, there's more. Atari will host an investor site. And you can have your name on there. Yep, that's right. For 250 bucks, you get your name on a website. What a joke, people. But wait, there's more. If you're dumb enough to invest a whopping $750, all that gets you is basically everything that I said before, but you can take 25% off one copy of the game at launch. You still have to buy the game? You spend $750 and you still have to buy the game for 25% off. And you know what that means? That for $250, you still have to buy the game at full price. Oh my God. But wait, there's more. If you're crazy enough to invest $1,500, you get 25% off one copy of the game and a free copy of the regular edition book art of Atari. You still don't get a free copy. You still have to buy the game for 75% of what it's going to retail for. Are you kidding me? If you're dumb enough to do this, you deserve to lose your money. Stay away, people. Stay very, very far away and beware of Atari in 2018. Now, if Roller Coaster Tycoon on the Nintendo Switch wasn't already dumb enough, this next scam takes the cake. Have you heard of this dumpster fire called the Atari Box? This is Atari trying to get back into the home console business, except they're doing it in the shadiest way possible. And here's why you need to be aware of them in 2018. Last year, they started an Indiegogo campaign, which is already a huge red flag. That means that for this Atari box, they don't even have a working prototype of this thing, or it would be on Kickstarter. This thing could fold up overnight, and no one would get diddly squat. But wait, there's more. The Atari box will be running Linux OS, which is like a bare-bones operating system that can essentially do anything because of how unrestricted it is. This also means that any proprietary software can be pirated and put onto any hunk of junk running Linux OS. Now, if you thought, okay, uh, their strategy would be to make like a budget system that would run their older games and maybe some new must-have titles, you can guess again because wait, there's more. This thing will launch at $249 to $299, depending on the special edition and memory configurations. 
that's as much as a Nintendo Switch and more than an Xbox One S or PS4. And as for games, what games? As of today, they've only confirmed that there will be classic Atari titles on this box of crap. They haven't even said anything specifically about the name of any old title and have not said anything at all about any new games. These are the stupidest giraffes in the dum dum salad. These guys want to sell a home console with no system exclusive games, no games at all in fact that were made after 1990 that we know of, and compete at the same $250 to $300 price point as the Switch, PS4, and Xbox One S? For a Linux box, you have to hook up to your TV to play Pong on? And instead of addressing any of these glaring issues, they're more concerned with reassuring everybody that yes, the wood version will be made with real wood, just like the 2600. What a scam, people. All for a project on Indiegogo, need I remind you, that can fold up overnight without a trace and leave everyone shit out of luck. Having either one of these scams put forth by a company is enough to sound the bullshit alarm. But to have both scams running at the same time, that's unbelievable. And why everyone needs to beware of Atari in 2018. Jeez, I need to brush my teeth after talking so much filth. Switchcraft out.